like that. Can you feel this? Yeah. It is quite strange when you have a movie that you sit down for a hundred minutes and you keep wondering what just happened here. Sometimes I really wonder how people can have a storyline and you watch from the beginning to the end and you still don't get it. This week on The Real, I'll be talking about a Nigerian movie called Being Annabelle and I really don't think I'm going to recommend it. Stay tuned. Everything I did, I did for you. Kaya, talk to me. I'm not Annabelle. Welcome back to The Real. This week on The Real, as I said earlier, I'll be talking about a Nigerian movie called Being Annabelle. It was difficult to really understand what the movie was going to be, even from the title, because you're wondering what does being Annabelle even mean? The movie was about 100 minutes long, which was directed by O.K. Zebulon Oko, and you had some good artists, which actually made me want to see it. But I don't think I was thrilled excited or even happy to have seen this movie and I mean it what's the problem no remorse so there was a scene where they kind of took us back where we're explaining a lady who was broke now trying to pretend she was somebody else you need to really listen to be able to understand although some people were finding it funny and were really watching with so much attention I just couldn't understand the storyline there was no connectivity so it made it more difficult to get what the movie was about but I'll tell you a few things that even made me more angry with the movie they're looking everywhere for you. And he's so fine. He's so fine. See your mouth. So she decided to pretend that she was her twin sister. So apparently they got missing when they were younger or something. One was living a very rich, expensive life. And then the other was really broke. Now she was deceived or lured by her broke boyfriend who told her to pretend that she was her twin sister, get some money out, you know, get some things out of the house and then they could run away. But you know how these things always end. They start simple, get complicated, and it gets really bad. But one thing was certain. She wanted to live the flamboyant life of her sister, not knowing the difficulties and problems her sister was going through, dating two or three different guys that was on the side. Having depression problem was another. And just going through a lot in her life. But along the line, she had to pretend to date the two guys, try to get money off them, and then drag the whole story. And the very sad part of it for me was, and in the end, you know, her boyfriend had to lose his life to the desperate doctor who one of the, the sister was dating. And then the other guy who, you know, the sister also dated because he was wealthy. I enjoyed every bit of you last night. Hope you did. What did this one to talk about? Where's your phone? Uh, stolen. And you replaced it with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Where did you go where? But things were really, really funny. I would like to really explain that this movie didn't cut it out for me now I've, I've been trying to think to myself what things did i like from this movie what were they less I, I just couldn't find I, I didn't like anything now i didn't like the production i think it was crap i didn't like the crew something was really wrong i didn't like the story there was no connectivity in the story how it ended was even more pathetic for me and i'm wondering how did i waste two hours of my life watching this movie See, you, want, you might want to try it out if you do like funny movies, but it wasn't funny to me because I always insist that for me, a good movie should have a good storyline. It's key. If you have a good storyline, there should be good connectivity, there should be good networking around it, and it should make sense. I didn't find any to my verdict. It would be so easy for me to score this movie a 4 over 10. I just didn't see any sense in this movie. Nothing was right about it. So many things were just going wrong. And I'm wondering, do I want to recommend it? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I really want to recommend this movie. But if you want to give it a try, if you don't really have anything better to do, and you want to while away time, and you just think you need to go spend some time in cinema, maybe you should try it out. If you have something contrary to my verdict, please do make sure you share. As always, I will ask you to follow us across our social media handle, which is at BusinessDayNG on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, as always, and you do stand a chance to win a free movie ticket. As always, I will be your girl, Linda, who will always be telling you about movies, let us in the cinema if you should watch or not. Have a nice evening.